hello and welcome to this blender tutorial brought to you by the lewis arts so if you've ever tried to rig you must have heard of a word called corrective shape keys if i select this animation and play it so it looks like nothing much is happening but if i select this mesh and go to the shape key tab and turn off all the shape keys you will notice that it's lost those nice shapes which we're getting so um, for example the shoulder if i um, enable that you can see we have this nice clean shoulder so you can spend hours of time either fixing it during weight paint or you can just fix it with your corrective shape keys um, so that's what i'll be showing you guys today so let's start up i'll just enable everything so um for example the elbow um so with this you can get ni nice clean elbow deformation um, so that's what we're trying to recreate today so how i go about creating this is basically um i set it to the default position and try to pose the hand to a position where i want to see that deformation being triggered okay so once i have the pose there then i go into my shape key editor and add a new shape key slot and i'll call this elbow bend okay and let's delete driver okay so i'm going to imp increase the value to one so that we can see the preview of the modification we're going to add now so once you have that then you can go into your sculpt mode either by pressing control tab sorry either by pressing control tab and selecting sculpt mode or you can select your object and switch it right here okay so once you do that um, now you can just this is the fun part of just posing or, or just sculpting geometry to anything you want okay um, so there's a bit of intersection there so we can fix it with this process okay um so this is what we have if i play slide it so you can see um so now let's attach this information to the bone so we want when we rotate this particular bone that's the lower arm bone then we trigger this deformation so i've gone ahead and named it lower arm so in this situation you need to name your bones okay so selecting this elbow bend we can now select add driver okay um so we'll just go to show driver editor so now here we're going to leave it in the scripted expression scale it up so we're going to leave it in the scripts um, scripted expression then for the expression we're going to set it to var var okay so if you don't understand what this is is basically um the name here so if i should name this boy um for the expression i need to set it to boy okay um so here i can put boy plus one or plus um negative boy so to get different effects um so for the object i'm going to set it to hand and for the bone i'm going to select lower um and for the local space i'm going to set it to for the space i'm going to set it to local space and for the um rotation the type i'm going to set it to x rotation so the reason i'm doing that is because if i select this bone and by checking this um, gizmo you can see this pink is going to um, like if i move it this direction you can see it's going to be rotating in the x axis so that's how you know or where it's gonna be okay so selecting it we're gonna set the type to x rotation so we'll just update the dependency and let's see what we have so if we grab this and move this um, it seems we're not triggering that shape key so let's make sure everything is okay so I think I will just go and add negative value because I think um, 
the direction is wrong so once once you put it in you add negative it's going to um, create an inverse of that motion uh, so doing that so you can see now we have triggered it so that's basically how to use the correct shape keys uh, also if you want to have the shape key trigger faster or slower you can do that by selecting it and going to the modifiers and selecting generator so the higher you put it the faster it's going to be triggered and the lower you put it the lower it's going to be triggered so for now i like i like the speed and yeah that's it so i hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys if you enjoyed it give this video a thumbs up and if you wish to see more from me don't forget to hit that subscribe button so bye bye for now see you next time